Order! Order! You are an incorrigible delinquent at times. <laughs> Behave yourself, man! Now, in America, they were nicknamed the Dreamers, the children who entered the United States illegally but were granted amnesty by Pre President Barack Obama. The program was called Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals, or DACA, and was introduced by Mr Obama in 2012. It concerns 800,000 men and women who were brought into America illegally as children. They were offered protection from deportation and a two-year renewable work permit. Now, though, it seems the Dreamers are going to get a rude awakening from President Trump. They're known as the Dreamers. Hundreds of thousands of young people who've grown up in America but arrived here illegally as children. President Obama's DACA scheme gave them protection. It allowed them to step out of the shadows, to get an education, find a job and live without the fear of deportation. It's transformed the lives of people like Maria Trevino Rodriguez. Her mother brought her here illegally from Mexico when she was just one year old. Her younger sister was born here so she can stay. But if President Trump delivers on his threat to scrap the scheme tomorrow, Maria could be forced back to a country she's never really known. He knows he has power over us, and he knows that he can keep us on, the t on our toes because he has everything in his control. My whole family only knows our lives here in Houston, Texas. I mean, our whole foundation would be in shambles if any one of us left the city that we've all, you know, called our home. Donald Trump knows that targeting young people for deportation does not look good. He's agonized over this decision for months. But coming down hard on immigration was one of his key campaign pledges. And he's equally aware that it'll play very well with his core support. The timing could barely be worse. Texas, where a third of the population is Latino, has just been battered by a hurricane and floods. Now, people like Jesus have another crisis to contend with. He's a paramedic. He spent last week rescuing and treating people caught up in the wind and water. An American hero in many ways. But he came here aged six from Mexico. And now, he could be kicked out. It's being, you know, kicked in the face after being on the ground. Um, we've just dealt with the storm, and we're about to deal with another one uh, that comes from the president. Um, and it's such a bad timing. It's it's such a bad circumstance uh, and, and just a bad time to attack us. President Trump spent the weekend polishing his image, visiting hurricane centers here in Texas. But tomorrow's decision will be one of the most contentious he's made, with 800,000 young futures at stake. Martin Geisler, News at 10, Houston.